here we have for sale this absolutely stunning 2022 on a 22 plate Volkswagen Transporter this is the T6.1 it's a T32 meaning it's got a 3.2 ton gross vehicle weight which is absolutely crucial for any business customers watching this video and I'll explain why a little bit later on this has got the two litre TDI diesel engine producing 150 brake horsepower and that's accompanied with a seven-speed DSG automatic gearbox this is the short wheelbase Highline combi van so what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around i'll show you the spec that you get on a dsg highline combi of this age there's a few optional extras on this particular van which some of you may have already spotted for those with the keen eye um, and i would usually talk through condition in these videos but this vehicle is quite literally brand new so um, we can take it as uh, as new condition starting here then at the rear of the vehicle uh, we can see that this one is specced with a rear glazed tailgate so a glazed tailgate is one door which opens up like so and glazed meaning it has got the rear window uh, in terms of color I forgot to mention this is called pure gray it's a fantastic non-metallic solid gray but just an absolutely uh, stunning colour. I think it uh, really sets the transporter off very nicely um, and I think these look really really nice. Uh, of course this is totally as a blank canvas but I think these really look nice. Uh, you can put alloy wheels on, front splitter, things like that uh, and I think that really lends itself to this particular colour. On a high line then, so you get a number of elements which are colour coded. That includes the bumpers, so you've got the rear bumper, the front bumper, the wing mirrors uh, and also all of the door handles on the vehicle all come colour coded in the body colour, as I say the pure grey. On the rear bumper then, you get rear parking sensors. You also get front parking sensors on the T6.1, uh, which was newly introduced over the T6. And then the first optional extra to speak of is the reversing camera. So a very nice feature to have. I think so many of us have just become reliant on reversing cameras now. Um, so when a vehicle doesn't have one, it's kind of like, oh, where is it? So I say very nice to have that on this particular example. If we open up the rear tailgate then, little button just there underneath and you've got the two nice gas struts there which of course keep it out of your way you'll notice there is a little grab handle just here it makes life a little bit easier when it comes to shutting it and then looking in the back as I say absolutely uh, brand new in here this is of course where the toolkit is located and this is as they come so all these boards um, around the outside here of course for protection so if you've got cargo in the back here it's not going to cause an outward dent on the outside of the van and you can see they, this is as they come with exposed uh, wheel arches but one really nice feature in the back of a combi is that you do get this nice padded flooring in the back here so you can kneel in there if you need to grab something and it's not going to absolutely kill your knees you do get some tie down points here in the back of the vehicle as well and this is where we can actually talk of the next optional extra on this particular vehicle and that is the two plus the one seating configuration now there are a number of different positions that you can get these seats into um, i've um, photographed some of those um, on uh, this particular van and you'll see those on our advert so if you head over to our website bridge end vans at the end of the video if you haven't uh, already seen the advert that's where you'll be able to see the full photography of this particular vehicle looking then down the side of the vehicle uh, of course as a condition is absolutely as new this vehicle actually left the dealer um, with the auto glim life shine option as well so it has actually got just a fantastic gloss to the paintwork and the life shine offers some protection as well if we open up the passenger side side loading door this is actually the life shine pack which comes with it so it's a nice auto glim and um, vw branded pack with all uh, a nice host of cleaning materials in there as well so you can keep your brand new van nice and clean and then if we look at these rear seats then so the benefit of the two plus the one is you can operate this single seat or the double completely independently of the other so you've got these black cloth uh, tabs here when you pull those so I'll uh, let's try and do this for you now with one hand. But if you give that a pull, like so, that allows you then to fold the seat down like that. And as I say, you can do exactly the same with the second, uh, the, the bench seat just there as well. So you can fold those completely down flat. That allows you to load stuff over the top if you wanted to. You've also got the handle uh, on the side here. If you give that a pull, 
that actually flips it forward. You can do the same when the seat is in the upright position, so you've got the backrest there. Uh, but as I say, that then gives you a bit of easier access then going into the back of the van. But as a very, very versatile seat, you've got Isofix compatibility as well on the rear seat. If I just flick this back into position here quickly for you. And there we are. So as I say, you've got Isofix compatibility on those. And then we can talk about the uh, last optional extra on this particular vehicle. And that is that you've got twin side loading doors. So as standard, a Highline Combi like this will just come with a passenger side side loading door. But I really like the option on a Combi of having the dual uh, side loading door like you get on a Transit Custom. Uh, because, as I say, it just gives you that easy access then from both sides to those rear seats. You will notice here you've actually got more tie down points at this point in the vehicle as well. So if you had these seats removed, so they are quick release, you can quickly take these out. Uh, you can utilize that full load space as well. If we open up the passenger front door then we could start to have a look inside here so of course passenger door card they're all in a lovely brand new condition you can turn off the passenger airbag if you want to if you could put a child seat here in the front of the vehicle lovely trim on these new transporters i must say and this one has got uh, the two captain's chairs in the front so you've got the twin adjustable armrest there's a little roller underneath here and that allows you to set each armrest individually to your desired height. And you've got the same adjustability on the passenger seat that you do on the driver's seat. So it makes them very, very comfortable to travel in as a passenger. We'll continue to go around the front of the vehicle. The um, fuel filler is in the uh, pillar just there. It's a little flap that opens. Uh, little details which have been changed on the T6.1. So a lot of styling details. So this nice transporter wording there in the front wing and the whole front end was changed as well on the t6.1 so you get this lower front grille just here different design of the front fog lights as i mentioned front parking sensors which previously was an optional extra on the t6 is now a standard um, bit of equipment on the t6.1 so it's very nice to see that i would again at this point in the video i'd usually be talking about stone chips or any marks and things like that at the front of this van but absolutely brand new it's absolutely it's just stunning to see looks so nice in that color as well it must be said so t32 i mentioned right at the start of the video different things that you get with the t32 and an easy way to tell straight away is that a t32 comes with a 17 inch alloy wheels t30s t28s always come with 16s reason for that is that the t32 actually comes with bigger brakes and they need to have a bigger alloy wheel to get over those brakes and they also come with some uprated suspension. The reason why that's important for business customers is that a T32 is properly classed uh, by your accountant, by HMRC, as a commercial vehicle. So as I say, if you've got a limited company, this one will keep the accountant happy, I can assure you. Opening up the driver's door then, we can have a look here inside the cab. A lot of people ask me what this is. This is a bin, so if you've got little straws and things like that, perfect little place to keep your cab nice and tidy. On top of the driver's door then, we've got electric windows, electric heated folding mirrors, so a lovely uh, bit of spec to have just there. We need the ignition on to fold those, and they will fold in just a second. As I say, we've got heated mirrors as well. We've got auto-activated lights and auto-activated wipers. This new fantastic uh, leather flat bottom steering wheel, which comes, I say, as standard on the T6.1. On the left-hand side here, we've got your adaptive cruise control settings just there. And then on the right-hand side, you've got your onboard computer settings there as well. And you can see here the mirrors folding in. And we put it into the folding position there they go so it's a very nice little bit of spec to have with that of course two full remote keys come as standard with your brand new transporter uh, the mileage here if i can just flick this up on the screen so the adaptive cruise control deactivated 37 miles and i say it absolutely uh, it just smells brand new in here it's absolutely lovely it's got that real new car smell looking at the driver's seat then height adjustability here uh, and i say you've got the same twin adjustable armrests as well. You can see the vehicle is uh, running now, so we can show you a few more of the features. Of course, there's no warning lights or uh, anything like that on the dashboard as well. 
Just down to the left hand side here you can see you've got a heated windscreen which comes as standard on the uh, Highline model. This, as I mentioned, this is the 7 speed DSG automatic. So you can see this is where you've got your gear selector. If you put the vehicle into reverse, you can see this is where your rear camera is displayed. Um, just down to the side here, you've got two USB-C ports. I've got one of those occupied. Uh, the reason for that is because as standard on a T6.1 on this new larger screen, you do get App Connect. So you get Apple CarPlay on here, which is just a fantastic uh, feature. You've got your maps on here. Um, so a fantastic sat nav as you would have on your phone. You can listen to your podcast, listen to your music, all on the screen here. So a very, very nice bit of kit there indeed. If we go back to the uh, normal screen, go disconnect, go onto the radio. You can see that we have got DAB radio on here as well. So really easy to use system. You can turn your parking sensors off and your start stop uh, on or off there on the left hand side. We've got your uh, full book pack here with the vehicle on top as well. So just to summarize this particular van, it is a May 22 registered on a 22 plate. Volkswagen Transporter It's a T32 T6.1 with a two liter TDI engine. A lot of T's in that there, isn't there? 150 brake horsepower, short wheelbase, Highline DSG combi. I say 150 brake horsepower, so plenty of power in this to go along with that fantastic uh, automatic gearbox. I actually ran uh, pretty much exactly the same van as this myself last year. Uh, so I'm very familiar with them. They are just a fantastic bit of kit. As a blank canvas like this as well, just really leaves the door open to do whatever or as little as you want to them. I think they look absolutely fantastic as they are. But of course you can, as I say, do all sorts of different styling, wheels, bars, etc. on these if you so want to. And of course loads of things inside as well. Anyway, optional extras on this one, twin side loading doors, rear camera and the two plus one rear seating configuration. Of course, the Highline now comes with a fantastic spec anyway. Front and rear parking sensors, app connect, air conditioning, heated windscreen, all that type of stuff as well. In stock here, ready to go with us, 37 miles recorded. No logbook retention. It's, as I say, no catches on this particular vehicle at all. If you'd like to inquire, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, please head over to our website there, bridgenvans.co.uk. This is where you'll see all of the photography, the description, etc., about this uh, vehicle. We will welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign. Remember that we can arrange uh, very competitive funding on all of our vehicles, including uh, this one. And that goes for private, ind private individuals or limited companies. We can take cars or vans in part exchange, and we can uh, also uh, arrange nationwide delivery. Thank you very much for watching.